Hello and welcome to Bike Nation, I'm Bryn Lucas. Now this little fella is the Shark Race R Pro helmet. Very exciting design too. This one is the carbon skin. You can tell because it's all carbon-y, very cool. But it comes in a whole range of different styles. Have a look at Bike Nation to see all those different options. Also stay tuned because over the next few minutes I'm gonna get to grips with all the features. <laughs> Now, before we have a look at all the features, there are loads of other videos on Bike Nation, so check those out. We're on Facebook, we're also on Twitter and other social media too. And if you have a look at the bottom of the screen, you'll find all the ways of finding us. Now, it's great to start off with knowing what the helmet is made of. And this is made from a multi-axial fiber structure that's carbon, that's glass fiber, and it's also aramid fibers all interwoven and laced across each other like so. So it's really, really strong. And because of the material, it's also very light as well. So it's less pressure on your neck, which is particularly important if you're out doing long journeys or out doing a track day or something like that. Now this helmet is perfect for track days. Look at the shape of it, the design, of course, all designed aerodynamically to help you go along as well. But if you take a look at the visor, you'll see lots of reasons why it is track specific. To start off with, you'll see it's got these little tabs, one on either side there, or these little pins really, I should say. And this is so you can put on there the rip-off strips, the tear-off strips, so if you are on a track, you can rip one off and carry on going to keep your visor nice and clean. But also, we're gonna look at ventilation very soon. Before we do though, you've got a nice locking area here too. So when you're riding along, particularly on a track, and you push your visor down, you don't want it coming up unexpectedly. And as you can see from there, it can only go so far and it stops immediately. Now that's because there's a little locking system just here, a little tab, and to simply lift the visor, you move it away, over it goes, and it lifts up. Now this is a reinforced visor, so it's very, very tough. It doesn't squirm around too much. It's not tinted, but you could maybe replace it or swap it out for a tinted one, particularly for track days. And you can do so very easily using the quick release system. On this side here, you have this little lever. You move it out and then grab hold of the helmet and tug like this, he says, tug away. Oh, hang on, there we go. There you go, you have to wait for it to come out. There you go, off it comes. Nice and easy to replace. You can give it a clean, you can change for a tinted one, take the other one off, of course, and it comes completely out in your hands. Then all you have to do is push it back in, fiddle with this until it lowers itself back down and it locks into place nice and easily. So it's a very, very simple system and the added bonus of it locking in place and that's because on the inside of this area here is a pin that locks itself around to keep the visor where you've placed it. So you've got these different options. It locks in place too, as I say. It's a fantastic visor for track days, although one little downside, it's not pin lock ready or anything like that. So if you want a pin lock system, maybe look to change the visor out, which of course you can do. Now, if we move on to ventilation, as I've said before, it's got this area here which can lift up so you can get the air in and out. But what I really like about this helmet is this chin vent here. You've got two positions, one there and one here. So if you're on a track day or you're exerting yourself a lot when you're riding, maybe open it to its fullest point. That will direct loads of air inside the helmet, inside the visor. And that, of course, will remove any fog and stop it misting up when you're riding along. That gets a lot of air in. You also have two air vents here up on the top. And a nice feature too, this little groove shaped area here that's been aerodynamically designed to direct the air in, open the vents up of course, direct the air in, and then there's all clever channeling built into the helmet to direct all the air around your head as well. Now any hot air will be removed using the exhaust vents. There's one here on the top to take any hot air out. But because the air's flowing over the top as well, it will drag the hot air out of the helmet. You've got this spoiler system down here with these grooves so the air can flow through as well. And that also draws hot air out of the air vents that are in here, the exhaust vents there too. Two more vents down the bottom give you loads of areas where the hot air will be removed to keep you nice and cool when you're riding along, which is really important for long journeys and to keep you feeling fresh, particularly on a track situation. So that's the outside of the helmet. It looks fantastic. Let's now have a look at the inside. And there's quite a lot of things to have a look at with the inside as well. To start off with, you've got this area around here. This is a great little area for your neck. It keeps you nice and cool, but also it stops the cold air getting in and maybe stops the noise from hitting your ears as well. So if you think about it, you've got noise reduction when you're riding along. And what's also really nice is this little area, this chin curtain, if I can get to the toggle just here to open it up for you, you can see it's adjustable. So if you want to have a full chin curtain, you can open it up. And if you want to, you can tug it shorter like so, 
and it can be nice and snug and you can get a little bit of air in there too. So this thing here is designed to stop the air getting in, to stop the noise getting in so you can hear what's going on around you. But what's really nice is you can, if you want, give it a little tug, like so. Get brutal with it, that's what I always say. There you go, out it comes. And it's designed to come off. Here you go, one more, there you go. Designed to come off like so. And with this off, you can see it's got reflective strips too. So when you're riding along, you've got that added protection. But it's also made of this nice material, so it's nice and comfortable. So this can come off, you can put it to one side, and you can now see the pads. Now there's quite a lot of things for me to tell you about these pads. First of all, if you wear glasses, there are grooves designed into the shape of the pads there, so you don't get any of that pressure building up on the side of your head. But the pads are made from bamboo fiber. Now that's great because it's moisture wicking, so it draws moisture away from your skin but it's also antibacterial as well, so it'll keep itself nice and clean. But if you want to remove these pads, you can do, give them a wash, let them dry and put them back in. Before I remove these pads, I wanna show you the strap though. It's a double D-lock strap, which is great for track days especially, but instead of having a popper here, it actually has a magnetic area too. It simply goes over the top, clicks into place using the magnet and it's in and it's done. But double D straps are fantastic because you can get a lot more purchase on them when you're doing them up make them nice and tight to your face so it won't move around as you're racing along which is perfect anyway back to the pads if you want to remove them all you have to do is get a bit brutal again there are poppers on here first one's done and it comes nice and simple you can see how thick it is as well and you can do the same to the other side word of warning though these pads it'll be a bit tight to start with naturally as the pads haven't been used so they will feel a little bit tight as you first use the helmet but it will start to ease over time remember sizing of the helmet is really really important we'll come to that at the end now with those two pads removed you can see you've got one more pad there this is the skull cap give it a bit of a tug here too don't be afraid to remove it all out it comes there you go and you can see just how thick it is and how much protection you get as well which is great so that can go to one side like i say give them a wash put them back in when they're dry and you're ready to go. Now, with the pads out, you can see here all this channeling that's been designed into the lining of the helmet, all these different grooves down here. All this is designed to allow the cold air to flow around your entire head and keep you nice and cool, and any hot air gets expelled out the back, like I said before. Now, if you've got a shark tooth Bluetooth system or another kind of course, nice little cutouts on either side here. And this is so you can put the speakers in there too. So it's already ready for a Bluetooth system. Now there's a couple of other things I want to mention. First of all, this, the chin strap, these areas here, the material, you can actually remove these as well. So you could take off these little bags essentially, give them a clean too. And with this off, you can see another air vent on the forehead area. And the reason I've left this to the end is because you can now see a little groove here in the lining. So when you open this vent up, the air gets channeled inside into the lining there, gets taken through these vents themselves. So rather than it just being one particular place on your forehead, it gets taken all over your head too. So it has got loads and loads of ventilation. It's a fantastic bit of design, looks great too. It also comes with a bag as well as you'd expect. And what's nice about sharp bags is they have a nice lining too, so it's not gonna get scratched when it's on the side, nice and protected. Now, sizing is the most important thing, so have a look at the sizing guide, and if you've got any questions, please speak to the Bike Nation team, they'll be more than happy to help. Also remember, of course, that any orders of 25 pounds or more get free delivery from Bike Nation. On our channel, there are loads of other videos, you'll find us on Facebook, on Twitter, and all over the other social media ways too. I'll catch you again very soon.